So what you're looking at here is everything that I'm going to need to build the next three members of this band. And so I've decided on my lower configuration on both characters, and they're all welded in place. Okay, so I've finished up the forearms, welded them in place. I picked out some hands, welded them in place, and picked their positioning. Then I did the same thing I did with the first guy. I welded a nail onto the end of that, and then drilled a hole, not all the way through the guitar, probably two-thirds of the way through to hang it on. And so what I've done here is, this is a cap off of one of these tubes of hardener, just standard hardener for you know any kind of body filler. And uh, I've got a, just a tiny collection of these smaller caps. I save some of this sort of stuff to some degree, not to a hoarding degree, but if you ever need a few of them, I have a few of them, you know. And this is actually all I have is these four. But I've cleaned them up with thinner, I'm gonna scratch them up with a scratch pad, I'm gonna paint them with the uh, um, satin black, maybe the gloss black, I haven't decided. I'm going to put some uh, double stick tape on the bottom, and that's going to be the four knobs that belongs on this guitar. Whatever they're playing, probably shouldn't have any lyrics to it. If there are, we probably wouldn't hear it. And again, just like the first guy, we stretched this over here. Then I squeezed it in on itself so it would uh, slope the shoulders a bit and kind of cup the body better because these arms are coming forward quite a bit. So this needed to be cupped. And then I drilled a hole through this steel, this steel, and the steel or aluminum, it's all aluminum, behind it and riveted the whole thing together. Then I turned it around and put a clamp on it, put a clamp on it, under here like this, squeezed it all together, and installed these two rivets. Now I didn't have the clamp on the first guy, but I did use it on this guy. Now we're done with the seven panels for the second head. Got them, got them all welded up, drilled, ready to go. He's back in here, came out of cold storage because I had him in there for a few days and uh, now he's warming back up so I can fix his uh, shirt and shorts situation. And I'll be doing that by creating cuffs for the shirt because Carlos always had his shirt sleeves rolled up and for his shorts, which also had the bottoms rolled up always. So I'm gonna create four cuffs it looks like there's four right here but this one's too narrow so i'm going to create four cuffs and uh, wrap them around it and tack them in place pipe about that big and then they'll be painted along with the shorts they'll be painted along with the shorts and shirt now i've made them sanded them and then bent them into the correct shape i've got one hanging here one hanging here i've already got them marked and i've lowered them now i'm going to take those marks which are up under the inside of here where they're not going to be as easily seen and i'm going to sand them off all the way to the bare metal on both spots and then i'm going to tack weld this up into position this one up into position i'm going to tack weld up here on the leg and i'm going to tack weld another one right here on this leg now they're all welded on with the welds above the paint so the paint beneath them didn't get burnt and now i'm going to mask from the very bottom of each of these collars down on the arms and on the legs because these are gonna be perceived as flesh. From here up is gonna be t-shirt, from here up is gonna be shorts. All masked up and ready for some color. We're going to do the uh, shorts first, and then tomorrow, after that's good and cured out, we'll mask everything off and do the shirt. All right, so here it is the next morning, and I'm going to uh, go ahead and mask off where the shorts are gonna be. I'll uh, segregate where this lower cuff is gonna be. It's gonna be a different color slightly, like it would be if you rolled your shorts up. And then I'm gonna finish the little prep there would be up here and get this white so we can get this guy in paint. So I've got him all painted and I've got him in front of the uh, pellet stove now so we can uh, get some of that hot air across him. He's pretty much dry as it is, but I'm working on the head while I wait for him to finish drying. And here I've got the head stuck on the end of a uh, broom handle. And I've just got it put through a couple of the holes in this ladder to kind of hold it still and get it at the right height so I can go ahead and get the uh, hair installed. And that's the uh, first panel of hair on. Now just six more to go. So here it is with half of the hair installed. Now all the hair is installed, ready to start with the hairdo. And here he is all unmasked. Now I'm going to go ahead and fit this shoe so I can slide it up the leg, drill a hole, drive a rivet, put the shoe over the rivet so this doesn't pivot and doesn't move anymore. And then I can, uh, of course, install the other shoe and get to putting the uh, other accoutrement on. Now that I know exactly how the head is going to be situated and and I've got the uh, neck trimmed enough to where the head sits down far enough and the head can of course be turned any which way but I've got it sitting about where I'm going to have it 
for the most part, most of the time. Now, now I know how I want to uh, go ahead and style the hair. Okay, hair's all styled. I'm gonna leave the bib on for now. Whenever you turn the head, these tend to get into that white paint. I don't want that to get all scratched up. When I'm all done, the last thing I'll do is just remove it. But for now, yeah, the hair's all styled, ready to go. All right, well, we got another one in the books. Let's, uh, let's walk around him, have a look. Got all three of them stacked up here together. This one is Carlos. This is uh, one of Randy Rhodes' famous guitars, which Carlos didn't own, but that's, I didn't want to put the iconic V-neck one on here any more than I wanted to put Slash's top hat on here. Carlos was always wearing, or often wearing, lighter colored or white shirts with uh, cuffs on them. They were, because they were rolled up at the sleeves. Same with the shorts, rolled up at the bottom. Head curly hair. When he grew it longer, he had it parted off to the side. You can see it's parted off to the left side, or his right. I don't remember if that's exactly the way he had it, but that's the way I remember seeing it, at least in school pictures. Yeah, ready to rock and roll. The original core three members are back together, ready to make some music. Well, all right, there's another one in the books. Just about have a complete rock band built. If you like what you see here, go ahead and hit the like button because that always helps. And you might as well subscribe while you're there because, you know, we always got something going on. See you guys around.